guys and welcome back to my channel so Jamaica and in today's video we are going to be having a girl chat make sure that you like comment and subscribe and follow this to a friend who need a hair because today we are going to be talking about relationships and that's all part okay y'all asked me some deep questions going into relationships and I feel like I haven't been so completely honest with answering questions and answers because I leave certain aspects of my life out. So today, we are going to dip in some tea and answer these questions like we should. Sit back, get your coffee, get your ice cream, get your whatever, what time of day it is. Get what's good for that time, get your KFC, get your everything because we're going to get deep into these questions. And also, make sure get me to 800 subscribers. Because I usually don't talk about these type of stuff, so bring that in. Bring what I asked y'all to use is called Ask Honestly, but it was YOLO, but I said Ask Honestly. You just ask me some questions. Some questions on this is completely anonymous. You can even send me. A text and tell me hey could you do this video which is completely free I'm not advertising for this app but it'll be in the description down below if you want to ask me any questions and any topics you want me to touch on because this is going to be a series on my channel and is how do you deal with a breakup okay so <laughs> okay so it depends on how the breakup happened if it was a bad breakup um just if it was a bad breakup especially if you know he wasn't doing it right and he was do doing the most stuff to you you gotta know you just not know when to leave but like even though y'all have so much good memories with each other you just gotta be like hey I am better than this I know that someone is out there being my soulmate and they probably looking at me and being like the fine side so you can talk and they can't i i'm just so caught up in my emotions till i shut people out because i feel like i just want this person but how personally how i dealt with breakups i cried first <laughs> i cried with all my breakups i know i lie but two of my breakups i cry a lot like i was just like oh, no, 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 no. but i feel like how i dealt with it could be different from all of y'all because I'm a person who is photogenic so like how I used to deal with it I used to be like okay you want me mommy get off the cameras sister take the pictures we gonna take it cause like I can't I, when I was I'm not gonna tell y'all when I was but if you know you know um I had this time in my life where I dealt with the breakup and I was I was going picture crazy like I was just like okay today we gonna take a picture I fix my hair no I braid my hair I braid my hair and I go on those sides to the back there I use my camera and we was out here we was just like I was like shoot 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 I was taking pictures and all that because I was just like because you don't know what you missing you don't know what you missing but yeah but if y'all had a common understanding where it's like I mean both of y'all seem uninterested it should be easier to deal with and yeah, but for me, I don't know what I mean, I freaking fun. I mean, he's cool. I guess he's cool. So, it's just like, you just have to do what makes you happy. Make sure that when you do what makes you happy, don't make it a force. Because I wasn't, it wasn't for me. When I, when I used to take pictures and stuff, it wasn't really like a force. It was just something I like to do. But I felt like it was a force. Like, how I keep on constantly doing it. I felt like viewers out there would be like, why is she posting so much pictures? Like, who knows the situation? And she's like, what's she doing? Why is she doing all that? But, yeah, that's personally how I feel about dealing with breakups. Just do something that makes you smile, happy, and stuff like that. Take yourself out. I remember a time when I was having a low moment. I was just like, you know what? I'm going to buy some clothes. I'm going to buy them some clothes. I bought some clothes. And I just feel bad about myself. I didn't take a picture in the clothes, though. I didn't take pictures like the way I wanted to, but... I just go and take some pictures and I had to feel good. I was just like, yes, sir. Anyways, 
yeah so that's how basically how i dealt with it people deal with racists differently they shut themselves out some people would rather be in silence like in quiet like doing what they want to do like for a time in my life i was like okay we gonna fix up the room that's doing her hard dance to say i want to fix up the room <laughs> things the room make it sound different and stuff like that but people deal with it differently some people like silence and some people just do something to make their happy that's the best I can do. <laughs> I don't really touch on these type of topics, but I feel like today is the day we touch on stuff like this, and that's on period. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, so the next question is, how do you feel about a relationship when a male partner shows some controlling habits? What should I see you say? No one can try to program me. So basically, um, I never dealt with that. It'd be probably here and I would be like, oh, take that picture down or something like that. I don't like those tendencies because if you know that I'm loyal to you and you just feel like, if you feel like I'm loyal to you, why should it matter what I post and what not to post? Because I, I don't like when people just say, oh, take that down, take that down. I'm just like, if I feel good about myself, if I like how I look, why I gotta take a picture down? I want the world to see how beautiful I am. Especially the type of person I am. Let the world know. Let them know that I am a body and I'm proud. Period. Like, don't tell me to be like, oh, take a picture down, take a picture. Oh, you look so cute. Oh, da, da. I'm just like, am I your girlfriend or not? Like, you should be like, yeah, that's my queen. That's my queen. Like, come on now. Like, don't be like that. Like, don't tell me to take no picture down because I'm not taking it down. I'm not. I, I did it. I'm just like, I'm, I'm not taking it down. What do you mean? I'm not taking it down. What are you going to do? Nothing. Exactly. If it's controlling to the fact that it's like, oh, you can't go with your friends like that, you, that ain't no relationship, sweetie. He trying to be a daddy. Mm -mm -mm. Don't do that. Ain't like that. Don't. Mm -mm. To come up that relationship for the camp because those type of people is going to try to tell you what to do with every situation. Don't talk to your friends. Don't talk to don't talk to your guy friends. If you have a best friend or something, that's that's the type of relationship you don't need to be in. Because they could think they could tell you anything in every way or have dress and everything. You don't want to be in that type of relationship. Because the ones they see that you like, okay, my brother say I can't go and stuff like that. They're gonna take it a step further. And when y'all live together, if you even if y'all do live together, it'd be like, Oh, you can't go, you can't go without me. Like, you need to get out of that relationship. Okay, do you think that long re long distance relationships can work? Personally, I feel like long relationships long distance relationships could last if it's both parties doing the work. When I say this, I mean like if both of your part okay, if the two people in the relationship are willing to understand when someone okay, I'm busy or something like that, and they have a mutual understanding and say okay, if we're in different time zones, like okay, let's find a time that's better to talk and whatnot. It's going to be easier on you to have good trust with that person because without trust in a relationship, it's not going to work. Like, honestly, if you don't trust the person, it's just going to be constant arguing. I mean, arguing in a relationship, having differences in a relationship is somewhat normal. I don't want to say that it's normal, but you're going to have a disagreement here now, but it shouldn't be like a blow up argument. So, a long distance relationship can last. If you have the good communication and you trust your partner because in certain situations some people when there's there's a gap and where the person is it starts to dwindle because it's like oh I'm not seeing this person anymore and they feel that they need to go outside to find that happiness I mean you could find the happiness by talking to the person but some relationships what I've seen it was like it falls apart because it was just like that person wanted something outside like what they couldn't get because their spouse is in another country or far away if you get what I'm saying I hope you get what I'm saying the next question is how do you get over a crush in all honesty I had my times when I had a crush on someone and I just felt like they didn't like me back or they was playing with me and I how I got over it was that I just, like, I think I had mentioned it before, I'm a photogenic person, so it's just like, okay, you don't want me, but I finna take a picture and you can see what you're missing. Not some period. 
I always do that. <laughs> and I don't even know what, I, what situation it is. I always do that. But let me show you something. Pachin, 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 period, poo, pretty girl. You know what I'm saying? So, many people deal with um, breakups, crushes, not liking them back. People deal with it differently. But how I deal with it is that I just just don't listen to it, ignore, block out, take some pictures, let a few people see me be like, oh, she's pretty, I was like, thank you, you know, so, like, that's how I personally deal with it, but advice is, love yourself, and feel, don't feel the need that you need to be in a relationship to be happy, just work on you as a person, and the right person will come along because you could have a crush on someone and they not be the person for you because I dealt with that before it was just like I like this person and then I know they they bad for me but then I still like them so I was just like I like you but you just bad like you ain't the person for me you know that's, that's how I deal with it people deal with it differently some people choose to you know exit everybody out like I feel like you can't get over ex and y'all ain't like y'all ain't even in a relationship. Like, like and like I cry myself crying because I was just like, but I was even in a relationship with you. Do we go dirty? You know? just like God gave me so much signs. Like it was just like, Jamaica, he's not good for you. Let me get you something. Here you go. And I read it. You know, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Just need a little shaping. Gives me something else. I'm just like, you know. Um. It's not that bad. Like, we can fly with that. We can fly with that. They can let me fly. Then, they, God is up to throw like a big side at me and be like, no. And I'm like, baby. Baby. So, like, <laughs> it just depends on you. Some people like to exit out the world, find themselves, and just grow at a person. Me. I mean, I started exiting out, like, I became such an anti-social person, I only answer customers, people who's only interested in my brand or, like, my close friends, that's the only people who I really be answering and talking to on a daily, or who I check up on, so, yeah, that's, that's just how I do it, I just exit everybody out, I don't do it on purpose, so, sorry, contact, but I don't do it on purpose, if you send me a message, sometimes you'd be upset because it ain't a customer, but <laughs> I'll still answer you, but it's just that I, when I'm trying to focus on me, I don't answer people. I mostly be on YouTube trying to find ideas for myself to make me feel better. So that's the best way I can say to handle the crush slash breakup. Because I mentioned that before, I'm handling crush slash breakup. So, just fine. That was, do you believe in second chances? Honestly... It depends on the situation because it's like, let me see how to put this. I always just don't know how to put stuff. I need to start writing things down. But it's just like, it depends on the situation. If that person cheated on you, don't go back. Please don't go back. Don't go back. Because why? They can find, they can say, oh, I'm sorry and whatever, whatever, whatever. But they can do it again. I promise you they will do it again. So I don't think you should go back to that relationship. But it depends on the situation, as I said before. If it's like a mutual decision and then y'all grow back together, then sure, give the, the relationship a second chance because it's just like, did y'all really end where y'all needed to end? And who knows, the second time would be even longer. It'd be like, okay, I, I see what I want in the person now, I want you. But just don't do it, whereas you had the second option and then that didn't work out, so they'd be like, okay, it was always you. And I'd be like, no, it don't work like that. Do not be the second choice. And that's not period. And I should learn that too. Because I remember it was a time where it was just like they were indecisive on who they wanted to be with. And it was just, I was just like, well, when you get the chance, just let me know. And I was just like, now I'm looking back at it. I was just like, girl, what is you doing? What is you talking about? Like, I, like, when I read my old conversation, I cringe. I was like, what is you do like I feel like I've grown so much as a person because I would never let that happen to myself yeah I'm just like no don't 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 do that like why would you, why would why would you what, what makes what possessed you to say that what possessed you to say that no 
don't know. Never become that girls listen if you listen in. Never become second option. Never let a guy put you as their second option because that means they had second doubts in you. And I'm just being real. We might have an argument in the, the, the comment section, but it's true. Never let someone treat you as a second option because it's just like a lot of people want to have you as their first option. And you letting someone just because you like them, you let them treat you any type of how. And now, Chimica from the past. Don't do that, Pusha. Why did you do that? Why did you do that to us? Why did you do that to us? Hmm? I mean, yeah. He didn't recognize me. <laughs> do you think it's important to have a spouse that loves God? Yes. Without God in a relationship, it's going to dwindle. It's going to deteriorate. It's going to not work. Because if you don't have a relationship with God, nothing is possible. And that's on period. And I'm not saying this to be sarcastic or anything, but it's really true that you have to have a relationship with God, a part of it. Praying is very good. Praying for your person is good as well. But knowing God is important as well because you can't just have a relationship built on okay I like you and I like you that it doesn't work like that you have to daily daily I pray about the person who I, I have say God <laughs> please I want you to send someone who is who is built for me I want you to directly send them my way <laughs> and yeah like it's important to have a, a relationship with God for a relationship to work because God is the foundation of any relationship. God builds you. So like you need to have a relationship with God plus adding plus adding him inside the relationship because it's beneficial and definitely your relationship will last longer. Because sometimes when God is in a relationship, you can find yourself that you're in a toxic environment. Not only that, but you can find things doing things what you know ain't right. And then later on down, you could see why it wasn't right. So, just have a conversation with God and ask Him to lead the relationship. I don't know how to say it, man. Not lead, okay? What it is? Be in the relationship. Ask Him to be in the relationship. Pray about it and stuff. And I'm, I guarantee you that relationship will last. Unless it's like a mutual like a thing where you pray it and God says, okay. Jamaica, this is not the time for you. This is not the relationship you need. And it could be a mutual understanding, like, okay, I don't think this relationship can go anywhere. So it's very important to have a relationship with God in your relationship. Basically a relationship Q and A. I don't think this is really a girl chat. Is this a girl chat? Leave it down in the description down below. But that is all the questions I have. That was only like what? Four, five questions, six questions. Yeah, only like six questions. I appreciate everyone who left a message who actually sent me uh how they feel about it. Um who wanted to actually have a conversation. I feel like y'all should um answer the thing to the bottom and tell me which topic you want to talk about first and I'm gonna leave it in my community tab as well and you could be able to press the link and you'll be able to Ask me any questions, it's fully anonymous, so don't be afraid to send me some ideas, questions, or anything. I think that that would be the thing I use, but if you want to just give me an idea, but then y'all don't know how to give me ideas, y'all can use that instead. I have so much videos I want to do, and I want to continue this series. I think the next one could be like self-love and all those stuff, because I never really did something like that. And this is like the first time I actually get in depth of what happened to my life, what's going on in my life. So I just want to thank y'all for getting me deeper, cause like, you know, I'm 17, it's about that time to talk about stuff like this. I guess it'd be skeptical to talk about this cause like, you know, my family has watched this YouTube channel and I like, y'all don't need to know that, y'all don't need to know that. Just, yeah, yeah, we could talk about that all the time. I think that the next one will be, yeah, self-love and whatnot, and I think I will do a question and answer about businesses, and y'all can answer that in the bottom below, give me some questions for 
business type of stuff. So yeah, I feel like we had a good conversation today. It was very brief, very informative, and I appreciate all of my 767 subscribers. I have 67 subscribers. One of them, I was just like, y'all so much about my videos. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love it. But yeah, this is the end of my video. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll chop it up next time. Wait, chop it up. Oh my gosh, I just be, I just be on YouTube so much, so I say other people and this. This is so Jamika signing out, and that's my period. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.